In today's video, I'm going to share with you my newest obsession. Seriously, this tool is so fantastic and it makes live streaming so seamless and easy. The tool is called Restream and I discovered it because recently I wanted to go live on both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. And this tool not only made it easy, but it allowed me to make my videos look super pro as well and manage all of the comments from different places. So let me share my screen and show you how you can do it as well. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise. I'm an online business strategist. Here on this channel, I share my best tips and tricks for building an online business. So if you are an online business owner, definitely hit subscribe down below. So this is what it looks like when you are logged in to Restream. To go live, all you have to do, just click Stream with Studio. And this is going to open up the studio space. So now that you can see me here, I'm going to get rid of me down here. All right. So this is the studio in Restream. First thing you're going to do is adjust your settings and make sure that you are connected to the right webcam and microphone. So I'm just going to go down here to this gear icon, click on that, and I am going to be doing full high definition. So you can choose that to make sure that the quality is as good as possible. Then I'm going to go over to video and just double check my video input. So this is the webcam I want to be using. Perfect. Then I'm going to go into audio and make sure it is on my microphone. Perfect. So next over here on the right hand side, you're going to see all the graphics that you can add to your video. So first is your name. You can display it like this bottom left or like this or like this. And you can absolutely change that primary color to one of your brand colors by just clicking on it and either selecting here from the color wheel or just paste in your color hex code here. Perfect. Now, if you want, you can display a logo like that. So you can just upload your logo file here or you can do something really cool and you can add a full overlay to your video. So that's what I chose to do for my upcoming challenge. I created one that looks like this which allows me to make my live streams look even more on brand. All right, so I'm just gonna choose this one here for my name, I like that. And then to create this actual overlay, what I did was went into one of my favorite tools ever, which is called Canva. So Canva is going to allow you to design pretty much anything that you need in your business. So to create an overlay, just click create a design, then start typing in presentation, Okay, and choose this one here. So the 16 by nine. All right, great. Then you can add whatever you want to your overlay. So I just used a mix of elements. So I chose this one here, moved it around to the edge and then added in a few more details. So for example, I could have added the logo for this challenge. You can add circle shapes, text, whatever you want. So let me just do another example so you can see what this looks like. Let's say I wanted to add some sunshine to this. <laughs> I could totally do that. Okay. So once you add in all your elements, you're going to click share and then download. Make sure to download as a PNG with a transparent background. All right, perfect. So that's going to take a second to download. Let's go back to restream. Then under overlay, you're just going to click on the plus sign here. Choose your design. That's going to upload and then you just need to hover over it and click show. Ta da! <laughs> so really you can add anything that you want here. They also include video clips that you can use. Like countdown timers or backgrounds as well which will become visible when you share your screen. So let me show you how to do that. You're just gonna click this icon here to share your screen. Then click window, choose the window that you want to share. Perfect. And then you'll see it over here to the left. You're just going to turn this on. Perfect. And now it has changed the display. So as you can see, we have quite a few options here. So you can just play around with your different options and see which one you like the best. But I am just so in love with this tool. I think this is so, so powerful. So yeah, play around with the overlays and background colors to 
make sure that it all works for you. All right, so that looks great to me and probably one that I will stick with. All right, when you are done sharing your screen, then you can just turn it off over here. Perfect, and it's going to go back to just you. So now I need to show you some other cool features. So when you go live in different places, so let's say you're going live on YouTube and on Instagram, people will be leaving you comments. But for you as the presenter, you can actually click on chat and you will see all of the comments across different platforms. You will see them right here. And if you want to display one of those comments, all you need to do is hover over it and click show. And that's actually going to come up on your screen as well. So just imagine if you were doing like a live Q&A, just how handy that would be. And as you can see, there's actually an option here for people to connect their Facebook to Restream so that when you share their comment, it also shows their name and their profile picture. So that's super cool. And if you want to add some text on your screen, you can click captions and you can absolutely add that here. So you can either have it lower third displayed like that, or you can display a ticker like this or both. Okay, so on top of this, what you need to know is that you can invite guests to go live with you. And once they have joined the restream, you can actually hide them so they're not on video, just like how my screen is not showing right now. And you can have a private chat down here with everyone that is a presenter. Okay, so now let's actually set you up to go live. So first things first, click edit up here. This is the stream detail. So this is going to uh, go out to your audience. So we definitely want to update this. So I'm just gonna say testing day one, okay, perfect. And then you can choose content type and don't worry about this part. So I'm just gonna click next. Okay, great. So. Now here is where we are going to define our destination. So let's go ahead and add a destination. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to choose Facebook Live. I just can't believe how easy this is, by the way, they just make it so wonderfully easy. Now I'm going to choose a group because I am hosting this live challenge inside a Facebook group. So that's going to open up here, okay? And I'm going to choose which one I want to connect. All right, so here's the group. And now we need to add Restream to this specific group. So I'm just going to open this link up here that they give us. Okay, then you're going to search Restream over here on the left, click on it, and you're going to add this app. Perfect, okay, so we can confirm that that's been added. Let's go back here, wonderful. Okay, so now that is an option. If it is on, that means it is going to go live inside of this group. So for now, we're not going to do that. We're going to toggle it off, but we will go live in this testing group. Now, let's say that you wanted to do YouTube. I'm going to click add destination, choose YouTube, going to choose channel and connect my channel. Then I'm going to click allow. Perfect. And now my channel has been added as well. So that's how you go about adding destinations. And as you can see, you can go live in a ton of different places. Okay. So for now, I'm going to turn off YouTube. Actually, let's do YouTube and see how it goes. All right, so right now I'm connected to my YouTube channel and to my testing group. So I'm gonna open those both up so you can see them. All right, as you can see, there's my previous test. The lesson here is to test, okay? So test a bunch so that when it does come time to have to do it live, you are super comfortable and you know exactly how it all works. So we're gonna try and go live here and then we're also gonna go live on YouTube. All right, so we're gonna hit close. Then I'm gonna make sure the graphics are exactly how I want them to look. Okay, great, and we are good. So now I am going to click go live. Now there will be a little bit of a delay when you go live, so just keep that in mind. Like if you are talking back and forth with people, there will be a little delay. Last time I did it was only five, 10 seconds, so. Uh, just wanted you to know that. All right, so let's give this a try and go live. I'm gonna change it to that though, so people don't think it's day one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi everyone, I am live right now doing a test. I am testing a new software for you, and I'm actually going to be showing you within a YouTube video exactly how to use it. So let's see how we're doing, see if I am showing up correctly. All right, so there I am inside the Facebook group, which is awesome. Now on YouTube, 
There we go. Okay, so clearly on YouTube, I needed to change the title. All right, cool. So that is what it's going to look like on YouTube. So you can see I'm live on YouTube and on Facebook at the same time. If you are catching this impromptu live, um, then definitely say hi. Hey, hey, Fiona. Um, yeah, so guys, I am going to be showing you a video on how to use this software, but I had to do a quick test showing you how to go into YouTube. So because I hadn't gone into YouTube uh, before, I missed one thing, which on the destinations, we got to make sure that we edit the title. But as long as you do that, you are good to go. All right, so when you're done going live, hit end stream. Okay, cool. So we are done the live and it's going to prepare the recordings for you. Now back here on YouTube, I was very curious to see how that was gonna show up. So that's how it looks. We need to make sure that we adjust the title, but it looks pretty damn good. All right, so once you are done with your live, you're just going to click download recordings and then you can download the full video right here. Okay, so as I went live, as you can see, a few people did join me and this is how it is going to display for you, okay? So it's very cool because it's going to show you with the little icon what platform people are joining you from. I mean, in my opinion, this software is just so good. So with these comments, I could click show and show that right up here on screen making for a super engaging video. All right, so just next time you go live, don't forget about the titles to change them all in one go. You can click update titles and you can change that here. So I could say day one challenge and then I could put more of a description there and click update all. And as you can see, that's changed it for all of the platforms. Then I'm gonna go stream with studio. And as you can see, it has been adjusted for all of them. So that is how you use Restream. Let me know in the comments below if you are as obsessed as I am and if you will be using this in an upcoming live. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you real soon with another video.